Dre back again with another video. And today, yep, I said I probably wasn't gonna do this one. Wasn't gonna get it after I held it and everything. I wasn't really feeling how it felt in the hand. So I had told myself I wasn't gonna get it. And that was when I saw it on the way home from South Carolina. But today, it creeped up on me again. And uh, I have a gun fetish. And uh, yeah. So what had happened was. slow you down because you're gonna have to it's weird because you put it on here and it's put on here like this and then you stick the rounds in this hole right here and then you push down that's yeah it's stupid they could have kept this they, they really could have kept this but it's in there like I said you get two metal 22 round mags. And then, of course, you get the firearm itself. It is clear. Nothing in the chamber. Mag is empty. All right. So let's talk about this thing. So I haven't actually shot it as of the recording of this video, but by the time I release this video, I will have shot it, and I will just put my opinions of what I thought about the shooting in the shooting part, and I'll just, it'll just be here in the video. I'll throw it in the video. But, uh, yeah. This gun, I like the way it looks. I do like the way it looks. It's really slim. It's really, really slim. Um, it is a nice size to be able to carry it if you wanted to. It's like the size of a full-size pistol. Um, the trigger is different. It's a flat face trigger, but I've never seen MMP use this exact trigger. So it is different. And just double check, make sure it's clear. It doesn't like to go in the battery, I've noticed. Unless you, man, that is hard. <clears throat> Unless you drop the slide, then we'll pull the trigger. Got a little take up, and it's it's really gritty. It's not a great trigger. It's gritty, really short. 
break. reset so it's pretty short reset it's not a horrible trigger but it's not the greatest trigger either um it could do use a little bit of cleaning as far as the grittiness the grittiness that's inside of it other than that it's not a terrible trigger um short break short reset crisp break crisp reset very audible very tactile so um, got Sarasins here. They're right by the port, which is unusual. Typically, you would see them up here, but they're right here. And you got Sarasins here. And then you got ports in the slide, but the barrel is not ported. So I guess those are just for decoration and weight reduction. Um, you got three dot white sights. It is optic cut, so it is optic ready. I'm not sure of the optic footprint that it's cut for. I'm assuming it's gonna be like an RMR cut, but it is optic ready. This version does not have the safety on it. Uh, you got some branding right here, Smith & Wesson. And then it says m 57 over here. This does have what appears to be a threaded barrel. Yeah, it is a threaded barrel. But they've got this cap on here extremely tight. Don't have any wrenches in here to take it off. So we're not going to take it off. But it does have a threaded barrel, as you can see. So you can run it suppressed. Got your Picatinny rail here for accessories. Um, the grip on this, it's kind of it's kind of fat. And it has the pattern on it like the M&P grip. But it doesn't have the the contour of an MP grip um it doesn't have the adjustable back straps and it's not as comfortable in the hand um this feels to me more like a like a ruger 57 or the fn 57 in the hand it doesn't have the same ergonomics as this guy this is the rock 57 once again it is clear nothing in the chamber um this gun is way smoother when you're running it and it could be because i've shot this gun so much i've got over a thousand rounds through this gun and i like this gun a lot um i've shot this gun suppressed i've shot this gun unsuppressed and it's just a, a great running pistol now these two are not far off in price with the rock you're getting 23 round mags, optic ready, threaded barrel, ready to go, out of the box, 599. This one's gonna run you about six, about 650 and some change. So it's a little bit more, but you're still getting one extra round of capacity in each magazine. You're getting better ergonomics, a better trigger, and a better feeling gun in the hand. Is this gun terrible? I can't say it's terrible right at this this exact second, but when you see the shooting portion of the video, you'll know whether I actually like the gun when I shoot it or not. Um, as far as looks go, I do like the looks of it. I'm just not impressed with the grip. Now, it does have this new barrel. I don't know if you can see it, but that barrel rotates. Man, this thing is a uh, monster. But that barrel rotates. And what happens is it just rotates a little bit. Look, it's not even in battery. It keeps doing that. It won't even go in battery unless you run it hard. But it's got this rotating barrel. And that little lug rotates in and locks it. Locks the slide in place until the slide cycles. And then it rolls and lock, unlocks the slide. Um... It's supposed to be like a three-piece or a two-piece barrel system. Something like that. I'm, I don't know. I haven't taken it apart yet. I think it's a three-piece barrel. But I understand where they're coming from with the innovation. And you can see right there how it's locked in place. And how it ro it'll rotate out and unlock when the slide cycles. But I don't know. 
this is the MP that's not really grabbing me. Like, I like it. I'm just I'm not sold on it yet. I'm still not sold on it yet. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm just. Oh no. I'm still digging this one more uh, than I am this one. This one is lighter weight than that one. Um, it does have lighter weight. But overall, from what I'm seeing, just before I even get to shoot it, I don't know. I'm not 100% sold on it yet. So let's go to the range, check it out. And uh, that's why I give you my final impressions and thoughts on this. So, went to the range with this guy, the MP57. Not a good range, as you saw. First magazine had three malfunctions, two three malfunctions. The magazines, these magazines are so hard to load that it is stupid. It's fucking stupid. So, when you get to 12, this hole's 22. When you get to 12, it's so hard to get those last 10 rounds in there that you literally have to take the speed loader, put it on the magazine, put that round in there, and then put it on the table and pull, pull with one hand and push with the other hand, putting your weight on top of it to get that round in until you get those last 10 rounds in. That's with both magazines. So, this firearm, which it is clear, nothing in the magazine, nothing in the tournament. This is my PSA Rock 5.7 or 5.7 Rock, whatever. It's the Rock. From day one, this magazine has been no issue to load. 
been able to load all 23 rounds with no problem. So, <clears throat> when I reached out to MMP about this guy, which is clear, um, nothing in there. When I reached out to Smith & Wesson about this guy, their customer service was not very good. When I told the guy that I bought this gun and what was going on with the magazines, he was a little smart ass about the situation. He's like, yeah. So you gotta break it in. I'm like, but it shouldn't be so hard to load that you gotta use a speed loader, both hands, and press down with your weight on the table to get around in there. Even if it's gotta be broken in. He's like, that's what you're gonna have to do, you just gotta use a speed loader. Cause you gotta break it in. I broke mine in. I said, how long it take you to break it in? Oh, you just gotta shoot it. But you can't tell me how long it take to break it in. I know I shot the gun. And the magazine's still hard as fuck to load. Everybody that's trying to load this magazine is like, this magazine hard as hell to load. For no reason. He talking about, well, it's gotta have a stiff spring because of the kind of round that you're dealing with. Hey, bruh. Hey, bruh. This ain't my only 5.7. And you don't have to have a spring that damn tight to load this damn magazine and for it to feel reliably because this son of a bitch out the box has ran like a scalded dog. No feeding issues. I had three malfunctions in the first magazine of this son of a bitch. So don't give me that bullshit. Don't think your shit's all that and it's that great. Just because you got a, a, a name that's real popular. MP was my favorite brand of firearm <clears throat> until I shot this. MP was my favorite brand of firearm until I talked to your punk ass and they customer service. Then he's gonna, after I finally went back and forth with it for a little while, he's like, well, send the magazines in with a note explaining what's happening. I ain't seen you shit. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna keep this, and I won't have any MPs in my collection anymore. Cause your customer service is shit. So get your people in check over there in customer service, and uh, fix your magazines, man. Fix your magazines. That's what I gotta say about that. Fix your magazine. <coughs> BigDrake357.com to get your merch. I'm out. Peace. Deuces. Stay dangerous out there, y'all.